Okay. Hey. All right, let's get to it, y'all. So today we're going to be making a delicious vegan coconut curry. And for my people on the go, some overnight soaked oats. So what you're going to need are some dehydrated vegetables. I've added half a cup of dehydrated veggies that I've picked up at Whole Foods. Next, I'm going to add a third cup of dehydrated coconut milk powder. This stuff is excellent. You can use it as coffee creamer. Um, it has so many wonderful uses, but making soups to go is definitely one of them. Next, I'm just gonna be adding some veggie powder. And um, that stuff, just because it has so many vegetables, it kind of has a high salinity. Like, not a lot of actual salt, but it tastes salty, so I added two tablespoons. Next, I'm gonna be adding a quarter teaspoon of chipotle powder and then a quarter teaspoon of chili flakes and they're Korean chili flakes. They're super delicious, smoky and kind of sweet. And then that is one of the stars of our recipe and that is our curry package that I got at uh, my local Korean market but you can find it pretty much anywhere and tofu and you don't want to get refrigerated tofu, you want the tofu that's in those wonderful cubes. Um, so now that I've got everything all lovely and introduced, I'm just going to go ahead and throw them into my biodegradable bag. There they go. And I've added um, some lobster mushrooms, and those are just going to be wonderful. Once they reconstitute in that broth, they're going to add so much texture and make our curry very substantial. So we've got our Hot Logic Mini ready to go, all nice and plugged in. We're going to open it up and empty the contents of our dinner bag to go into our little vessel. I'm just going to cook our wonderful meal. Really nice and affordable and you can see everything's in there. Those mushrooms, peas, carrots, tomatoes. Now I'm going to add in half a brick of tofu. You could put it all if you'd like, but um, I am have a couple other uses for it. So I'm going to save half of it. It's just me. And I'm going to open up my curry, and I'm going to throw the entire bag of curry paste in there. And that's another item that you can save, but um, it can stain things and kind of make a mess. So I just like to use it all and throw it into my, um, into my curry because it's absolutely delicious. And it just makes it that much more flavorful. If you're worried about the spice level, then just omit the um, dry spices that I put in. And then you just go ahead and add a cup and a half of water and pop our Hot Logic Mini together. But there it goes, all nice and sealed up. We're going to move that out of the way and get started on our overnight soaked oats. So we're just going to move that over and here we go. So we're going to take our oats. We have a fourth cup of regular oats. You could use instant if you'd like and we're going to throw them in to our measuring cup. There they go, boop, all right. Next, we're going to take some coconut, and I'm just using shredded coconut. Um, you can omit this or uh, switch it out if you'd like, something else. And some dehydrated cherries. Next, we're gonna take a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, add that to our oats, and a little bit of cardamom, and some ginger, and you just do that to taste. There we go. And some salt to really make all the flavors sing, y'all. And the last dry ingredient is going to be some palm sugar. And that's just because I like things a little bit sweet. But if you're better with your nutrition and you can do without the sweet, then go ahead and omit that. And now we're just going to go ahead and throw in our final ingredient, which is that dehydrated coconut milk. Put that all in our bio bag and seal it up and you can just use the hot water from your coffee pot or say you make a stop and get a coffee maybe ask them for hot water it's just a perfect food for traveling or even for moms who want to cut out some time get to your hotel room and go ahead and start soaking those oats and they'll be ready when you wake up now we're going to check on our vegan curry while it's not going to win any beauty contest i promise you it tastes incredible y'all Look at those lobster mushrooms, so nice. Yep, this was totally bomb, y'all, super good. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video and you found these recipes useful. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Awkward in the Kitchen. And like and subscribe our videos below. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.